What is up guys? My name is Cameron and today I am going to be showing you how you can check a new major league ballpark off your bucket list for super cheap. I was able to use this strategy a couple times last year to check out some new ballparks and it was a great time. Basically all you need is just to be open to a couple different cities and to have a pretty flexible schedule. But if you have both of those, this strategy is going to be perfect for you. So there's going to be a couple things you need when you're planning these trips. The first one is going to be airfare, just you got to get there somehow. The second is going to be a hotel or anywhere else you want to stay. I usually go with hotels, but you could pick an Airbnb or a hostel or something like that if you really want to. The third is transport in the city. So I like to take public transportation when I can. The other options are Ubers or to rent a car usually. And the fourth is obviously going to be your ticket to the game. So without further ado, let's jump in and I'll show you my strategy I use to visit new ballparks. So I basically plan my whole trip around the flight and what flights are cheapest to different cities. So Google Flight is my go-to for picking out flights. I know there's a couple other good places to look. Skyscanner is one of them for sure, but I'm gonna go with Google Flights for this one. All right, so today we're gonna be looking at round trip flights out of Boston, that's where I'm located. I'm gonna start by putting in a few cities that I'd be open to going to. So if you're doing this, you just add some cities that you haven't been to, some ballparks that you wanna see so basically you're going to type in the destination and you're just gonna start listing off cities so first I'll add Chicago Miami Tampa Pittsburgh Toronto and Atlanta let's go with those I've been to some of these places but for the sake of this, I'm just doing ones that are somewhat close to Boston so that the flight prices aren't gonna be crazy. Next, you're gonna look at the dates. So to do this the cheapest way possible, you're going to wanna do one night stays and we'll select one day trips. So here you see the numbers start to pop up. The green is some really cheap flights. So this is round trip number. So this is $78 for the cheapest flight. That's really good. So we're gonna jump in and press done. Next, we're gonna add some filters. So this is kind of a preference thing. One thing that I don't like when I'm doing these trips is when I have a layover. So I'm gonna select nonstop. You might get a little bit better deal if you have a layover, but it's really not that much of a difference and this is much more preferable. The airline doesn't really matter. You're trying to fly as cheap as possible. Bags also doesn't matter because if you're doing a one night trip, you're just taking a personal item or carry on. So not a big deal there. Times, this one is also a preference thing. I prefer to take off from my hometown uh, in the AM. So it gives me a little bit of time in the afternoon to do something before the game and kind of explore the city. You can leave this filter untouched though if you're truly looking for the cheapest price. So with all those parameters set, we'll start looking at our dates here. Have to go into April, obviously, because that's when the baseball season starts. And there's some pretty cheap options here. $90 seems to be the cheapest in April that we can select. So let's take a look at what the options are on Tuesday, April 11th. So it looks like the cheapest flight that we have on this date with the parameters we set is a $90 flight from Boston to Chicago nonstop at 6 a.m. So that one seems like a really good deal. Flights to Chicago from Boston are usually more expensive than that. So it looks like we found a good deal here. All right, and then we'll pick the return flight as well. This will be 9 a.m. the next morning, so April 12th. So here's our itinerary. We have a flight from Boston to Chicago, Tuesday, April 1st for $90 round trip. $90 is a great deal as you could see here. So I think we're gonna base the video off this one. Let's head over to book this flight. All right, I'm not gonna fill this out now just for the sake of the video, but when we look at the total due with taxes and fees together, it's a little bit less than $90, it's 89.80. So that's a very good deal to start out. So now that we have our dates, we're gonna have to check the schedule of the teams that play in Chicago, the White Sox and the Cubs. They usually play offsetting schedules, so there's a very good chance that one of these two teams is gonna be in town on this date. Let's check the Cubs first. All right, so we have the Cubs schedule pulled out and it looks like they have a night game on April 11th against the Mariners, so that is perfect. We're gonna be getting into Chicago in the morning, so we'll have all day to check out some touristy kind of things. And at night, we have a game against the Mariners, so that works out perfectly. We'll keep, we'll keep planning with this date. So the next thing we're gonna to wanna to look at is a hotel. You don't necessarily have to stay in a hotel. I've done these trips before where I just go to the game and then I go to the airport and spend the night in the airport. I really wouldn't recommend that. It was a really awful time running on that little sleep. So if you really wanna go the cheap route, you don't have to get a hotel, but I would strongly recommend it. So the place that I like to look for hotels is Expedia.com. I know there's a ton of websites that you can look for hotels. This is just my preferred method. So we're gonna go type in Chicago as our city, and we're gonna select our date, which is April 11th to April 12th. Expedia is gonna spit out a lot of different hotels and they're not necessarily gonna be in any order. So what I like to do is just scroll through and try to find the best deal that I can. 
As I'm scrolling through, I noticed this $95 hotel right in Central Loop, Chicago. Uh, if you've been to Chicago before, this is a great area right in the Central Loop, right near the Magnificent Mile. So this is definitely a great place to stay. Let's check this one out. So let's scroll down and look at the rooms they have available. It looks like they have a club room with one queen bed available for $95. And then with taxes and fees included, it'll be $112. So that's a really good deal for Chicago, especially in this area. I think we're gonna jump on that one. There might've been some cheaper ones in the search results if I were to scroll down further, but I really like this area of Chicago. I think this is a great deal as is, so let's go with this one. So with everything included, this is going to be a total of $112. So with the flight and hotel now booked, we have the two most expensive items figured out. I'm going to take a quick break in the planning to tell you guys about my company at the Ballpark Apparel. I'm wearing one of the shirts right now. This is the Put It Into Orbit shirt. It's the moon as a baseball. I have some really cool designs that are perfect to wear to baseball games over at my website. You can find the link down below. And I'm gonna have a whole new line coming out as we get closer to baseball season, so stay tuned for that. If you like any of the shirts, it's the absolute best way to support me, and I'd really appreciate it if you check it out. Let's keep going. Our next thing we have to talk about is travel within the city. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. You could either take public transportation, you could take Ubers, or you could walk if it's a walkable city. My first thought would be to take public transportation if you can in the city. So let's take a look at Chicago's public transportation. It is called the CTA, Chicago Transit Authority. Let's go to their website and see what their fares are looking like. So ideally with these trips, you're gonna be here for 24 hours or less. So you could try to look for 24 hour day passes for these public transportation services. We'll check out passes here. And it looks like Chicago has an unlimited ride pass. And for one day, it's $5. So you're gonna be able to get from the hotel to downtown and then to Wrigley Field, back to your hotel, and then back to the airport, all in less than 24 hours. And it's gonna be $5 total. So that's a great deal. I know Wrigley Field is right on the red line in Chicago, so you're not even gonna to have to do that much walking at all with this. So let's add $5 for our in-city transportation. That is a great deal. There are going to be some cities where you can't take public transportation. I know Tampa and and Miami are pretty tough when it comes to public transportation. There are other options though for pretty cheap. You might think to take Ubers, but I would definitely recommend against that. Uber prices can really add up, especially when you're taking four, five, six rides in one day. My recommendation would be to check Expedia again, and this time for rental cars. The idea of a rental car might scare some people, but the prices are actually really cheap if you find some good deals. So let's head over to cars. We'll select the pickup as O'Hare, the airport that we're flying into, and the drop-off is gonna be the same as the pickup, and we'll pick our date of April 11th to 12th. The pickup time, you should orient with the flight time, so we're gonna be landing around 9 a.m., and the flight the next day, we're going to be leaving around 9 a.m., so we'll, we'll select 8 a.m. So here are the results for our rental cars. I'm gonna sort this by total price, so it'll give us the lowest price. And it looks like this first result is the one. So it's gonna be $35 total for the 24 hours that you have the car, which is a pretty good deal. I was always under the assumption that rental cars were much more expensive than this, but they're really not all that bad, especially if you're going to a place like Florida or something like that, they can be really cheap. So that is definitely an option I would recommend over taking Ubers or ride shares. All right, now the final thing we need to check off our list for this trip is tickets to the game. I don't have one ticket website that I always go to for tickets. I tend to check a couple before I go to a game. The first one I like to look at is StubHub. So let's take a look there. For our search, we'll just type in Cubs Mariners. That's the matchup that we're going to be seeing and scroll down to April 11th. If you're going by yourself on this trip, just select one ticket. This advice is pretty specific to Wrigley Field. If I were you planning a trip to this ballpark, I would definitely try to sit in the bleachers. It's an awesome experience. So that's where we'll look for a ticket. You could buy this $9 one. This is the cheapest ticket in the park, but I think for the sake of Wrigley Field, we're gonna buy a bleacher ticket. So here it says $17 for a general admission bleacher ticket. This is before fees on StubHub, remember. So we're gonna have to go through and figure out what the price would be after fees. So I just had to type in a ridiculous amount of information to get the final number, but it looks like after fees, it's going to be $27. So we'll check a couple other websites and see if they can give us a bleacher ticket for less than $27. So the next site I'm gonna take a look at is Game Time. They show you the price of tickets with fees fully included, so that's a pretty nice feature. Again, I'm gonna go over to the search and type in Cubs 
versus Mariners and pick April 11th. You're gonna wanna make sure that all in pricing is selected when you're looking here. And it looks like the cheapest ticket in the bleachers with everything included is $28. So $1 more than StubHub. So for right now, we're gonna stick with StubHub. I'm gonna try one more place though. The next one I like to check is called TickPick. They also show you prices with the fees fully included, which again is a nice feature. Once again, I'll search Cubs, Mariners, and here's our game. So we're gonna make sure we select one ticket and we're gonna scroll down until we see the bleachers section. So here we go, we found a general admission bleacher ticket for $25 all in. So that is the cheapest we were able to find. You see zero service fees on TickPick, which is pretty nice. So this is the deal that we're going to be going with, a $25 ticket on TickPick. Again, if we go back, there's probably some cheaper options if we sort by price. Yeah, see, this one is $13 all in, but just for the sake, again, of Wrigley Field, we're gonna go with the bleacher ticket. Trust me on that one. All right, so that is basically everything we need. Obviously, you're gonna need some food, but that's kind of up to you. You can go really cheap with it. You can go to fast food places or something like that, or you can go to nicer restaurants. It's really up to you, and that's definitely more of a personal preference. I'm not gonna include that here just because that is totally your choice to make. We got all of our main things figured out, and the total price comes in at $231.80, which I think is an absolute great deal for a trip to see a new major league ballpark especially if you're flying obviously we didn't do this the cheapest possible way again you could avoid staying in a hotel room though I'd highly recommend against it and you could have picked a cheaper ticket but all in all I think this is a great price to pay for the experience you're gonna get in Chicago we also picked a flight that was early in the morning so you're gonna have all afternoon to check out some of the touristy things in Chicago as well the hotel that we picked is right next to Millennium Park which has the bean in Chicago so that's one thing you can do right away in this entire area of Chicago is a great place to walk around and sightsee as well. Keep in mind if we picked another city, some of the things would change. Not every city has perfect public transport that'll take you from the airport and then to the ballpark. Some places you're definitely gonna have to drive. Some of the cities I visited last year, like Tampa and Milwaukee, you're really out of luck when it comes to the public transportation side of things. But like I said, if you rent a car, you could still do this for pretty cheap. If you guys want any advice on planning trips of your own, please feel free to reach out to me in the comments below. I've done this a few times in a few different cities, so I can definitely help you out there. I'm gonna be using these tactics a few times throughout the year to check out some new ballparks myself and I'm gonna have vlogs from those so stay tuned for that I'm also going to be attending the World Baseball Classic in Miami both semifinal games and the final so those are gonna be some absolutely electric vlogs from there plus make sure you're following me over on TikTok for some more baseball stuff in short form thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you took something out of this video I hope to see you at a major league ballpark very soon